Hey guys, so this is going to be my top 10 eyeshadows. Now before I start this one, um, you will notice that I've chosen quite a bit of neutral colours and I've decided to kind of split it up into coloured eyeshadows that are really good for like evening wear and stuff like that um, and then this video is going to be my top 10 sort of neutral eyeshadows. Um, so. I'll start by showing you my MAC ones, and the first one is Rice Paper, and this is a frost, and this I really love to use as um, a highlight, it's like a really sort of pale yellow colour, but it goes on really nice and sheer and frosty, and it gives a really nice highlight. The next one I've got is a uh, wedge and this one is a matte and this I like to use as an all over lid colour um, just on those days where I can't really be bothered to wear any colour on my lid and it's just really close to my skin tone and um, it's just very very natural for me to wear. This one is like handwritten which is a matte squared and I like to wear this one in the crease with wedge it's just a really nice sort of deep sort of chocolate brown but when you put it when you apply it really lightly with like a 217 or something it looks like a really it just adds a little bit of depth to the crease that looks really nice with it in a natural Next one look. is coppering which isn't really a neutral color but I do still really like to wear it and um, this is a Luxe pearl and it's just a really true sort of bronze copper color it's really nice in the crease, um, especially for autumn and fall, um, and it's just a really, really nice bright colour to wear, and it goes on quite sheer, you know, it's not like super, super pigmented or anything, so you, it can be, like, you can build it up to get a really, really strong, powerful colour from it, but at the same time you can wear it quite sober, you can leave it quite sober and um, just sort of wear it in the crease with a nice lemon The colour. next colour is Carbon, obviously. Everybody has to have a black eyeshadow in their top favourite um, eyeshadows and this one is one of mine and this I like to use as like a setting colour for my black eyeliner. Um, I like to use it in the crease, in the outer V. It's just, you know, one of those sort of all-purpose eyeshadows and it's just literally a matte black. There's nothing really that special about it but I still love it. Okay so moving on from the MAC eyeshadows the next one is actually an Urban Decay eyeshadow and this one is YDK and this is a really nice neutral to wear because it adds that little bit of glamour that you want because it's quite shimmery but at the same time it's a neutral colour so it can be worn with literally um, any browns, it could be, it looks really nice with sort of like um, burgundy colours as well. Um, and I just really really like to wear this if I'm wearing like green eyeliner or something, this goes really well with that. And um, yeah, so I really like that The next one. one is a Chanel eyeshadow and again not really a neutral but it's number 21 in Fusion. I know I said that most of these eyeshadows would be neutral and this one comes off as a really pale yellow neutral colour like if I do a swatch of it you'd probably barely be able to see it and that's how sheer it literally comes off and over like a gold base like um, MAC Paint Pot Indian Wood or the Barry M Shimmer Sticks or something um, this looks absolutely amazing and it does actually it does actually suit. It's it's perfect for day wear, you know. If you don't want the too next much one, fun. oh, the next two are Barium Dazzle Dust, and the first one is um, tan. I think, yep, number thirty nine tan, and it's just a really um, sort of like a pinky, pearlescent, beigey color, and I really like it again all over the lid with a little bit of brown in the crease. Um, or even just by itself with like the 217 brush or something, it goes on really sheer and it just adds a little bit of colour and it's perfect to wear um, underneath like some black eyeliner or something like that, it works. The next one is again not really a neutral but it's number 100 and I think this is brass. Um, and this one is just really nice to wear with coppering especially. Um, and it's very very similar to Dazzle Dust number 44 but I actually 
prefer this one just because it's a lot it's um, a slightly darker shade of bronze and um, yeah so really okay like and then the one. last one is this one here and this is an Inglot eyeshadow number 419 and it's the truest Inglot um, olive eyeshadow that I've ever found in my entire life like even um, even MAC doesn't have a really nice olive colour and this one is really nice because it's got like gold shimmer running through it so it, it works really well um, over like a gold base like Indian wood again and it complements my skin tone as well um, so yeah I just really really love so those that. are all my top 10 sort of neutral ish eyeshadows um, coming up will be my top 10 coloured eyeshadows so sort of the eyeshadows that you would associate more with the dramatic and colourful looks and um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one bye